All right, guys. Um, show you how to take your iPad and go ahead and plug that into the bottom base so that you can transfer files over to your iMac. So you're going to need your charger and then this unplugs right here. This is your USB and then you have your end cable here and you just plug it in to the matching bottom and then take this end, plug it into your iMac. Okay, that's step one. Is how you can go ahead and get files from your iPad off. So there's an icon right up here that looks like a small iPad. If I click on that, and then I go to file sharing. Now, depending on what kind of um, app you were using, if you were using iStop Motion, Adobe Sketch, you can actually um, transfer those files and do some file sharing. Um, I did some iStop Motion, so I'm going to click on this. There's the folder right here. I'm going to save to. I'm going to designate it as the desktop. I'm going to save to that. I've already done this, so I'm going to go ahead and click replace and then click done. And then you can see the progress bar at the top. And then it's syncing. And when it's done, it should end up on my desktop right there. There it is. Okay. And then there's all the pictures that I took from that. Okay. Next thing, if you don't want to, if you aren't using an app and you were using your camera, you can go ahead and do your photos. So this comes up here. I'm going to click on my iPad. I can click whatever I want with the blue and get a check mark. And then I can go ahead and select imported selected. If you don't want those on your iPad anymore because they're taking up space, just check delete items after import. I'm going to go ahead and import those. And then they show up in the last import it and then you can export here all right so how do I get rid of eject my iPad properly from my iMac um, there's a button this is I'm back in iTunes again and then I click this button here and now I've ejected my iPad and that's it